Okay, now I have to take this this mold. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. What I did was take a little glass plus and spray it on here. I want to clean it up just a little bit. If you have a lot of dirt and dust and crap in it, it's going to pick up in your mold. Of course, it doesn't really matter, or in your in your part that you're gonna you're gonna cast. Of course, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be buried, and you're not going to see it anyways. But I don't know. I like things clean, so kind of make sure it's dry. Also, now smooth on for this. Uh, this uh, rubber, they claim you don't have to use a release agent, but man, I tell you, uh, I always use a release agent no matter what. You know, you go through the extra mile to make these molds, and of course it's really not that attractive, but man, if you ruin the mold, you ruin the mold. And once this is buried in the airplane, I'll never be able to make another one, so I've got this mold right here so I could make them. So if any of you guys have a Byron P51 that you're building and you don't have these cones, the rear hold down cones, um, I can make a mold for you. I don't have the mold for the front. I know that Fred Culberson has, him, has some like that. I think he's called Condor or something like that on, on uh, RC groups. So anyway, let's get started. I have a release agent and it's called Ease Release 200. This stuff works really good. Um, do not use very much. Just just a, a light spray is all you need. Just, that's it. Just like that. Let's stick your finger down in there, maybe a little more. There we go. Just like so. Yeah. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up this polycast casting plastic. It's four minutes. Sets time in 15 minutes. I can actually demold this in less than half an hour. Um, it's pretty neat stuff. There's the phone number right there. I don't know if you guys can read it or not. But uh, anyway, this stuff works really well. And this company is the only place I've been able to find it. I don't know where they got it, but they're, obviously they're buying it from someone and then relabeling it and putting their name on it but it works really well. So I've got a little mixing cup. These mixing cups are awesome. You can buy them at Walmart. They're really super cheap. I looked all over the place for them. I've even had RC friends that have went to Arby's and, and stole some of their <laughs> mixing cups so they could use them for epoxy. Works good. So it's 50-50 that you mix it. And uh, it's not rocket science. It really isn't. So I'm going to put a little bit in here. Just a little bit. Just enough to cover the bottom. And then when you want to look at it sideways, I've got about a quarter inch in there. For your metric levers, it's probably about five millimeters. And I'm gonna, before I put that in there, because this stuff sets up really, really quick, you wanna make sure that you have everything ready. Now, this stuff is really thin, um, and I'm gonna be able to work it around the mold and all that kind of stuff while it sets up. And this stuff here, in, in the industry that I work in, it's called Cabasil. Uh, RC guys will know it also as micro balloons. And uh, anyway, I buy this stuff by the half pound box. And you guys know how much money that Cabasil or micro balloons cost for just a little tiny container. I buy this by the box, and I think this is $8 for this much. And uh, it's about a half a cubic foot of it. I would strongly suggest that when you guys are playing with this stuff, Probably want to wear a mask. Maybe even a respirator. It's some nasty stuff. But obviously since I'm doing some filming, I can't. I can't do that. So anyway, you want to mix the parts first and then add your thickener. 
I've found a lot better results over the years that if you mix like even polyester resin or anything like that, mix it first, then add your color. Don't add color to one side and then, because I have problems with it setting up when you do that. Mix it, then add your thickener. And so anyway, I got some mixing sticks here and let's get going. This is gonna be fun to say at least. I only got a one shot deal with it. I only got like one or two of these cones or these little hold down aluminum things here. So anyway, get this one here going. And I'm just gonna put enough in there. It's not rocket science. that much, About 10 millimeters total. Now, I'm gonna have to work extremely fast. And then it'll turn nice and clear. Pretty amazing stuff. I wanna thicken it just a little bit. Nice consistency coming on here. Trying to break up those micro balloons. Pain in the butt. Mm. I'm working really quick, but not so quick that my work becomes sloppy. You know, this stuff here doesn't cost that much. I think that's like $19 for those two quarts, or I mean uh, two pints, and uh, it, it doesn't cost that much money. So if you're really worried about the, the kick time and how long it's gonna take and all that, set up a batch like that and just play with it until it hits, until it goes through its first heat. And then you'll know, because this stuff is cheap, you can play with it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, bubbles to the top a little bit. I can feel it already starting to get warm. So I'm gonna pour just a little bit in here. Just like that. This thing here, I'm gonna drop it in there. See what I just did? Haha, <laughs> pretty cool. Now I'm gonna shove that all the way to the bottom. And then, I'm going to Neatly work it around the edge. Trying to keep it the camera for you. Now it's already starting to set up, so it's getting really thick. Some amazing stuff, man. How man ever thunk of this stuff. I mean, don't worry about getting it over the edge, because I'm gonna grind that off with the drum anyways. The neat thing about this stuff is that you can actually make anything you want with it. Grab a little bit more. See how that stuff is starting to set up? And it turns white when you set it up. And the beauty about it is, here, you just kick. Oh. I may have to mix up a little bit more. Still a little soft in there. You see how fast that stuff kicked off.
I am going to mix up another one and layer it over the top of that. The beauty about this stuff is that you can grind it after it's done. Looks ugly right now. But wait for the finished product. Look at that. See how it turned white? Pretty cool. Okay.